what's up everybody it's instructor smiley thank you guys for clicking on this video today we're gonna to be talking about something that i've been kind of hinting at for a while and wanted to bring to your guys' attention and kind of give you my opinion on it today we're gonna to be talking about the neomag alias beltless receiver system so um i'll dive into it real quick for a while right um in the summertime people don't really want to carry their belt they don't want to really want to wear jeans and there wasn't a lot of options for carrying in other stuff than jeans, right? You have your belt, you have your traditional holster, and that was it for a while. Um, a lot of people would wear basketball shorts, uh, cargo shorts, right? Anything with a belt loop, you could typically carry your standard holster. But when you start leaving that area where there are no belt loops, um, like basketball shorts, sweatpants, uh, <laughs> hoochie daddy shorts, whatever, it may be, um, there really wasn't really many carry options. I know a lot of people take their traditional carry belt, weave it on and carry it that way. Um, I had tried that and realized that it was really uncomfortable. Um, the way my waist is set up, my belts shift up when they're not in belt loops, how they're designed to be, but um, you know, go figure. So I had seen this system come out. Uh, I wanna say I saw it about last year and super interested in it. Earlier this year, I went ahead and purchased one so I can test it. And after I tested it, I was like, okay, I gotta do a review on it. So we're gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna give you guys the breakdown of this so please watch to the end because i'm going to explain what the best material to carry it in is and what the worst typically is pros and cons and all sorts of that so let's go ahead and start out with this system itself um neomag designed this alias receiver system now the receiver system is typically was not created for this originally it was made for a belt it was a new innovative way to carry instead of having clips come over your belt the way the system set up was it clamped on the top and the bottom of your belt and the receiver sat behind your belt so if you ever had to go in, I don't know, corporate America clothing or something where your belt would be shown, you would not see the receiver. Throughout time, obviously, they decided to become more innovative and find more ways to use it, hence the beltless system. So the beltless system here is created of a T-wrist material and it has ulti clips on both sides. Um, depending on your weight, you can also clip the T-wrist uh, material to figure out how you like your holster. I have mine all the way out just because I typically run a rig. Um, I do not run a rig with this, like a mag caddy and holster. I'm just running a holster with this. Um, it comes with multiple different platforms for your holster. So I want to say there's three or four different ways or connectors, if you will, for your holsters. So this one right here is for a, I want to say hook up. So it just snaps right in like that. And there you go. You have your beltless system. So initially when I received it, I was like, dang, this is nice. Like, let me go ahead and try it out. Um, and the very first thing I tried it out in was a pair of joggers that did not have a drawstring. They just had a very, very thick waistband. And I will report to you that it was not the best way to carry at all. Um, it felt super weak. I felt like the holster was tipping forward in the waistband. I felt like I had was constantly adjusting my gun because I felt like it was bouncing around in that waistband. So I said, you know what? I'm not just gonna chuck the system out there and give it a bad review. Let me go ahead and check everything else. Um, so then I started carrying it in other clothing. I carried it in basketball shorts. Um, your material really does depend a lot on what you are, or how it's going to work in the material. So if you're carrying it in super light basketball shorts and the jawstring you can pull for infinity of miles, it's not gonna connect well. Um, I did want to report the findings in carrying in sweat shorts was very nice. Um, I'm gonna link some videos in between so you guys can see. So in the first video, I'm gonna show you guys the joggers with um, no drawstring. So you'll see me do a couple of things here. I'll put it on, I'll lean to each side, and then I will jump in it. When I jump in it, that's just to show you if the gun is bouncing, if you can see it or not. Um, like I said, in the joggers without a drawstring was not the best, didn't like it, wasn't comfortable. Um, so I don't suggest carrying it in that. Um, you may have a different feel than I do. So if that's what you like and you're sold on it, be my guest, go ahead and carry in it. In my findings, it's not something that I will carry in again. The joggers without the drawstring, it just does not give me enough support with the Neomag um, system on the, the alias system. So I won't be using that. Next video, I'll show you guys the basketball shorts. Now, I did pick a pair of basketball shorts that were slightly on the lighter side, but also had a little bit of durability to them. Um, and I can report that it was very, very nice. They did bounce a very, very little bit, but the drawstring was big enough and I was able to tighten it down enough to have minimal movement for those types of shorts. So depending on your shorts, is gonna be a huge factor in how this carries. Next, it's gonna be the athletic joggers so these athletic joggers are very similar to sweatpants 
Um, they have a thick waistband, they're from Under Armour, and the drawstring, again, was nice and sturdy, it was thick. Tying it together, everything was good. I 100% approve carrying it in a pair of sweatpants, no issues at all. This next one here is a pair of joggers that do not have belt loops, but they do have a jawstring. The material is in between jean-like and sweatpants-like, I don't know what the actual material is called, but this was obviously, or not obviously, this was my favorite way to carry it. Carrying in this was very, very comfortable. I wanna say the longest I carried this in there was about 13 hours. Um, very comfortable, no issues at all. Didn't feel like I was adjusting it. Felt like it stayed right where it wanted to. The Ulti Clips worked phenomenally. And with the drawstring tied down to a comfortable position, I had no issues. And that's probably what I will wear it in most of the time going forward. Uh, and lastly, I have sweat shorts. Um, sweat pant material, just shorts, um, something I like to wear in the summertime. It's super comfortable. Um, also like to report that that worked extremely well. Why? The material, sweatpants material is extremely thick. The waistband on that is thick and the drawstring is thick. So when you put it all together, you have a nice sturdy platform for the alias receiver to sit on without any issues. Um, and that's gonna be the biggest drawback on this whole situation here. Your pants are going to matter heavily. You can't just throw on a pair of shorts and go out and play. Um, there is two points of contact on your alias system, right? You have your two ulti clips. Aside that, the only point of contact you have is your actual alias receiver and the hook on your holster, which are essentially just hanging. They don't clip to anything. The alias receiver does not have a back hook. So you are relying on your two ulti clips and whatever drawstring you have. That is why when I wore it in the joggers without the drawstring, there was not enough support. The old clips can only do so much. When you have that drawstring sitting under them and then you clamp it on, it creates an extreme seal and then you don't have to worry about anything. It's not bouncing around. It is very sturdy. It's very similar to a standard holster and a belt. Um, and I think that is where this is highlighted at. Overall, I definitely like this system and I was super surprised. Uh, one thing that kind of caught, caught me off guard that I'm actually like enjoying is the Tigris actually forms to you. Um, when you draw, when you tighten your drawstring on, and this is a little tip for you guys that have this, you wanna make sure that you draw, that you tighten your drawstring first before clamping the ulti clips down. If you clamp your ulti clips down and then tie the drawstring, it's gonna get real weird and it's gonna kind of ultra flex. If you tie it down first, it'll slightly flex and then clamp it on, you won't have any issues. It's kind of like a torquing motion. If you clamp it then then pull, it's gonna torque it in even more. But if you tighten it first without the clips, it's not gonna torque as much and then you clamp on where it's comfortable at. So overall review, this was amazing. Um, here's what I will say, this was a very controlled test by me. I only carried one gun the entire time. That was my 365 uh, variant, so it was either this X macro variant, which I've just recently been carrying, and then a 365 XL. Um, the difference in weight is not a lot, so there wasn't huge there. I have not tried this with a full size gun or even a compact size gun, just a slimline gun, because even after that, I don't want to add too much weight and start trying to put stress to the system. I do believe there are people out there that are carrying like that and they have had good results. I just have not. But for this video, amazing product. I sign off on it 100%. If this video, you guys enjoyed it, you wanna get one, you're sold on it, go ahead, click the link below from Neomag. It'll give me some support to show these guys that my review got out to you guys and you enjoyed it. If not, please leave a comment and let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know what doubts you may have or what you question about it. So that's the video, guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Um, stay tuned. This is gonna be part of a new series. I'm gonna do a beltless series. I will also be testing here in a couple of weeks or reviewing the Leisure Carry Clip-On Belt. Very similar system, but there are pros and cons over the Neo Mag Alias. And then in the future, I've heard of a couple of other companies that are coming out with beltless systems that I also do plan on trying. So that's it for the video, guys. I try to keep it short and sweet. I appreciate it. Again, thank you to all the supporters. Like, subscribe, comment. If you guys wanna support anybody that supports me, they're gonna be down below. Go ahead and check them out. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.